Hey there, I'm Bex, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for stopping by to check out my videos. In this video I'm going to quickly show you a time lapse of how I painted this um, really cute dog. I actually did this painting for my mother-in-law's birthday a few weeks ago. This is her dog Rocky. He is the cutest dog in the world. I absolutely love him. So I thought it'd be really nice to paint him as a gift for her. He is mostly white. Uh, he has some interesting kind of brown spots around his eyes and he has some dark almost black patches of fur on his ears and around his eyes as well. Instead of going down the realistic route I decided to paint him in watercolour and use some really bright and vibrant colours to kind of capture his personality because Rocky is such a fun and affectionate and crazy boy. I don't think a plain kind of white desaturated painting would have really done him justice. I wanted to let his personality shine through in this and to be honest, this is probably one of my favourite paintings I have ever done. The video quality for this is quite bad. This was recorded before my studio was set up, so I don't really have a kind of consistent lighting set up in this. And yeah, I basically had no idea what I was doing when I was filming. I just let the camera run while I painted and hoped for the best. So unfortunately, it has not left us with the greatest footage in the world, but since I really love this painting and I really enjoy painting it and hope to do quite a lot more like it, I thought it would be nice to share it with you all. So when it came to the colours for this piece, I decided to go with some really vibrant oranges, mostly with a blue and orange palette with maybe some subtle kind of pinks and purples, uh, more as transition colours than anything else. I wanted to make the shadows and the dark areas of the fur really, really dark blue and to contrast that, the lighter areas of the fur obviously are white and the areas where Rocky has his patches around his eyes are a, a nice bright orange instead of the kind of light brown colour of his actual fur. I thought this was a really fun effect and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. For this painting I used Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolours. I really like these watercolours. I only started watercolour painting this time last year roughly so I'm still fairly new to the medium and I've really enjoyed it. It has been a big big challenge to learn. I am still learning by no means do I know everything about watercolour but I am well on my way to, to trying to do just that. So it has been a fun year. Uh, this is probably my favourite medium to work in. Definitely worth the uphill battle to, to master. But I just love how watercolours look on the paper. I love the transparency of the paint. I love how you can layer it. I love that you can see the paper through and you can use the paper as part of your painting. And since I've been painting in watercolours so often now, I actually struggle quite a lot with opaque mediums. So maybe for some challenges on the channel, uh, it would be interesting to try using some gouache or some acrylic paint. I have used gouache a little bit in the past, not, not very much, like a couple of sketchbook paintings and things like that, but nothing, um, nothing big yet. And I've tried acrylics before and let's just say that was, an, that was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> um, but I love art and I would love to be able to, to paint using any medium. So practice makes perfect, right? Expect to see some videos on, uh, on those topics that I'm not as confident. Um, near the beginning of this painting, before I went in with my first wash of watercolour, I used some masking fluid just to keep the lightest areas of his coat and any highlights from getting paint on them. I find masking fluid really, really useful for this. After I peeled masking fluid off, I did paint some of those areas, but I just wanted to put it on in the first place to give me a little bit more control at the beginning till I had planned out better where all my colours were going to be. I'm so sorry for the terrible lighting at this part of the video, it is like a disco, I tried my best to fix it in editing, it, it was just not possible but luckily my new film setup will not have this problem so call it a one-off. <laughs> Ooh. 
when I was painting this portrait, I had a little bit of trouble with the left eye. The picture that I had of Rocky for this reference was a good picture, but that left eye was kind of just a blob. It wasn't very visible. I, um, I couldn't see where the, the pupil was supposed to be. So I did end up going back to that quite a few times. I was really struggling with it, so I decided to focus on a different part of the painting and go back to it once I had had a little bit more time to think and get over the initial frustration of having no idea how to paint it. I'm glad that I took a little bit of a step back and a break from it because when I went back to it, I feel like I actually managed to, to get that eye in the right position and get it looking good. So yeah, small victory. <laughs> some highlights to the eyes and the surrounding areas just to kind of give them that wet look. I also added some of those highlights to the nose. Um, I really think that this brought things together for this piece. I love adding white highlights to the eyes. I think it totally transforms a painting. I don't know why but it is definitely one of my favourite parts of painting anything. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching. I am, again, sorry for the video quality, but um, I hope you enjoyed watching the painting process. If you have any questions, I know I didn't have um, the beginning of the process on film, another thing I overlooked. <laughs> um, but if you have any questions about the painting or the techniques that I've used, please leave them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions or ideas for videos in the future, please let me know there as well. I will be checking and reading all of the comments. Thank you so much for your support. Catch you later.